sub knife people back again with more these knives quick look at this best tech texel with jade scales black blade uh that's it swapped out the scales on another one so just in case you're wondering but why we're here is um for a uh, knife sale so today uh no unboxings none of that we're just gonna do a quick little um knife sale announcement and uh, show you a couple knives that are up for selling my collection uh this one isn't that one's just kind of for show um and that's it i'll show you what i got um hopefully uh, some of you might be looking for these knives uh and if not um you know maybe you can reach out to me at some point uh but these are knives for sure that um they just don't suit my needs there's nothing wrong with them they're brand new uh, factory edges um, might have been pocketed once or twice uh, and I'll go ahead and just point out any little specifics I see on them but for the most part they just didn't really suit my needs um, and that's the only reason I'm getting rid of them either by blade shape size grip you know various reasons so let's get into it and uh, I'll put the prices linked up in the description so check for that uh, any information will be in the description, my email, uh, and of course, you know, B18, uh, regular rules, um, US only. Um, I just hate shipping it in international. It gets a little wonky when, when, uh, when that comes into play, but, uh, unless you're really serious about it, you know, maybe you can work, work something out. So either way, get a hold of me if you're interested. So here we go. First off, I got these, um, TRM Adam scales. I got both of them right here. So they're brand new, untouched, unused. I got my own pair. So this was a duplicate pair. And uh, yeah, so that, that, that'll that be up for sale, these scales. Um, I also have one fixed blade, which is the Guardian 3.5. And this like kind of contour g wood has like some little light grooves on there uh but really cool knife uh substantial handle you know take that lanyard off um neutral grip nimbus finish which is a black stone washed and what else m390 and this is called G wood, which is a, a mixture of G10 and some kind of wood material. Uh, really nice. Um, you know, I just, I mean, it feels great in hand, honestly. One of the most comfortable knives I have. Uh, just uh, again, no, no need for it. And um, I have a bunch of other guardians that I use. So really cool. Actually for big hands, it's probably a big, big plus. Again, the prices will be in the description. Yes, I hate to part with this, but again, you can see this little slight mark on this Pena. That was already on there when I got it. It's not a crack or nothing. It's some kind of like light little scratch, I'm assuming, in the G10. So that was pretty much there from the beginning. Uh, again, this is the Pena X-Series Trapper. Action is great. Check that out. Oops. So action is good. You can come down on it pretty good. So action is good. Uh, main, you know, here goes pocket clip side. Check out the centering. Um, main reason is uh, blade shape doesn't really function too much for, for my needs. Um, but again, it is an exclusive. Uh, I don't know if Blade HQ is offering these anymore. Uh, last I checked, I thought they were sold out. I may be wrong, but um, again, price will be in the description. And uh, I probably won't tend to budge much on the, on the prices um, for the simple fact that, you know, these are all pretty hard to get knives and some of them are exclusives. So, and you have uh, Pena X-Series Trapper. What else we got? 
You got another front flipper here. Uh, again, this is called the Tribute from Riot, uh, in-house design. Got a nice swedge. This is a hand-rubbed satin. Again, untouched, unscratched, any of that. I got all the goodies with it. I got boxes, um, whatever it came with. This has got fat, green, carbon fiber. It's got those accents. Again, one of the best actions I've seen on probably any knife or even any front flipper, just drops. Excellent action. Very dope, very dope action. Just check it out. Oof, nice. Again, you can front flip this also. Reach around. Again, this one also, blade shape had a lot to do with it. And let's see if we can check that out. There's no voids. So really nice. Uh, main reason again is solely because uh, blade shape and uh, I don't know, I guess I'm not too much into front flippers like I thought it would have been. So that's the reason that's gonna go. Uh, and again, if uh, you need more sp specifics on the knife or anything, get a hold of me uh, through email. This is the, you all know, the be Blade HQ exclusive Benchmade 940. Nothing wrong with that guy. Uh, this one in particular, um, just kind of handle shape. And uh, it's not gonna have this deep pocket clip. I did switch it with another knife, so I'm gonna put it back to the original clip uh, that it came with, M4, Osborne. And uh, let's see here. Action's pretty stiff. I haven't pocketed it much, but it'll break in, I'm sure, with more use. Um, and again, main reason also, it was kind of narrow for my hand. Uh, I had broke my hand a long time ago and uh, it just kind of cramps me up and uh, I'm not too big of a uh, thumb stud guy either so uh, but all in all there's nothing wrong with it you see the blades untouched but yeah it's a 940 standoffs everything else is pretty standard so we got that one. Move this guy out of the way. Put this here. Next one up is the Trapper. No, I'm sorry. This is a Giant Mouse Ace Grand and L Max Steel. Uh, it says it somewhere, but it is L Max. Got green micarta. Got like a titanium spacer, deep clip. Again, might have just a little bit of just grip uh, patina from a couple times I've held it. So again, it is flickable. Thumb stud. Uh, there goes your lockup. Liner lock. Check that centering. So uh, hair off to the left. But all in all, good knife, good working knife. Just uh, not 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 too fond of it. So we got there. Uh, uh, another one here is the paramilitary two jade scales. Black DLC coated blade, M4. Again, this one had a little light scratch in the G10. Let me see what side it was on. Uh, I think it was right here. It had a light little, almost discoloration, but that came from the factory that way. Yeah, you see it right there. Right here in the corner. So, it's got that light little white spot. Again, translucent scales, jade scales. 
compression lock. Action on this one finally broke in. So drops free and pretty good. So nothing to worry about there. Again, M4 paramilitary two. Dun, dun, dun. And but now, last but not least, the Benchmade Super Freak. Although uh, uh, a lot of you might know it as the kind of Deadpool colors. So yeah, you got the kind of burgundy-ish liners, red spacers, this cool G10. Um, this one's a first production also, M4. And again, with this knife, really a lot, a lot of it had to do with the uh, st thumb studs. I have my Griptilian custom that I use a lot more. Um, so yeah, this one to me doesn't really uh, suit my needs, but again, dope knife. A lot of people love it. DBK, DBK boys love it. If you know who they are, I'm sure you do. And uh, there you go. So the M4 Super Freak, first edition for first production and that's it those are all the knives up for sale let me know if any of those work for you get a hold of me my email will be in the description and that's pretty much it i'll take that one off the board since that's not for sale snake eyes has his gun now he's ready to rock for any kind of fight so again thank you guys for watching thanks for tuning in uh get a hold of me if you're interested and uh that's it. Let's get these knives sold. So, last little look here. Benchmade, Paramilitary 2, your Grand, Osborne, those three, and the TRM scales in carbon fiber, blue composite, whatever that is. So, there we go. Have a good one. Yes, take care out there. Get a hold of me, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Have a good one. Bam. Must be 18. Peace.